What's going on guys? I had such a good response with my last video talking about my addiction to pills that I had a couple years ago. Well, September is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. And as you guys know from my last video, I talked briefly on my couple attempts of suicide. In this video, I really wanna to talk to those of you who have issues, who have suicidal thoughts or tendencies, or those of you who know somebody who has those thoughts. For me, it stemmed from depression. I wasn't, I wasn't happy with my job. I wasn't happy with the place I was living at. I wasn't happy with what I was doing in life. I wasn't happy with where I was in life. Tons of different things. Why? I felt the way I did. And you know what? I would have people say, oh, just get over it, or oh, just change your mood, or oh, just do this. Don't tell somebody that. Trust me, don't tell them. They just can't snap out of it. If they're like depressed or they're on the verge of having suicidal tendencies, telling them just to snap out of it or get better or pray is not gonna help them. They need actual help. They need help. Man, I've gotta tell you. I'll tell you both stories. The first time I was taking pills, as you guys know, in the last video, and at one point I was at the mind, my mindset wasn't, it was bad, but it wasn't as bad as the next story. I took a handful of pills and I popped them and it should have been more than enough. I was so mentally weak and numb I was numb, like I didn't care. It was so weird, I was numb, I didn't care. It's like, let's just get this over with. I had in my mindset at the time, nothing's gonna be better. Don't tell people, oh, you're a coward for committing suicide because you made a decision based off of a one-time thing or off of a situation that can get better. Don't call somebody a coward for being suicidal. They've got something wrong and they need help. That's the biggest thing. Don't criticize somebody who's suicidal and go, oh, that person's crazy or that person's suicidal. Go find them some help. Go talk to them. Go have somebody talk to them who you know will help or who will have a chance of helping them like a therapist or a psychologist. But my, with my story, I just took the pills. I was mentally gone and I said, okay, I'm ready. And what happened? And I was also at that time, I was numb, but I some things had also set me off, so I was numb, but also angry. I don't know how to describe it, but some of you may know what I'm talking about. I said, screw it. Down the hatch, laid on the couch, and I was puking because I got really sick, really dizzy, and I just started puking up the pills, and, and I passed out and woke up the next morning, luckily. The second time, I was far more mentally gone. This was probably about a month later. My mental stability was going down and down. It was so bad. My wife was working on overnights and it was driving me crazy. I don't know, something about the night. I don't know if, you, if it's with you guys. Nights and summers are the biggest, worst times for me. Anyways, my wife's at work and I was just fine for a little, I'm sitting there watching TV, everything's fine. And next thing I know, I start thinking of like, just kind of getting down. Like I started getting into my head and I started going down, getting to that down and numb feeling. And I started thinking about life, thinking what should I do? And I came to the conclusion, but we're done. I'm done. That's what I told myself because I was so gone. I was so upset and I was trying to give my wife hints, but you know, when you're trying to give hints, you really don't want them to catch on, but you do. Right? So I'm trying to give her hints. She is no I'm she knows I'm not feeling the best, but she doesn't know how bad I am. Well finally I I start telling her what my plans are. And uh, go to my closet. I had a pull-up bar in there. I took my belt, the one that I felt like would work the best, would squeeze, threw it around, did the top did the loop, put it around my neck, you know, and I was numb, but I had tears down my eyes and it's almost like a leap of faith, like, okay, we're, we're, this is it. This is it. So I dropped my knees, right? I, I dropped my knees and I feel it 
tighten up. So I start getting lightheaded, feeling it all through my head because my blood was being cut off. And it, I started feeling relaxed. My pain, my mental pain was starting just to like, it was just like, ugh. You know when you start, you take a couple drinks and you just start getting relaxed, just like that relaxed feeling? That, but 10 times better. This is the hardest part. My wife knew it was bad. She started, she knows me really well. And she drove home, which was a 25 mile drive. She, she got there right as I was about to pass out. She had to pick, lift me up or lift my body weight up and get the belt around my neck and move me to the bed. And I couldn't help her, I was so weak. And I don't know if she got this, she's a strong woman, but I don't know if she got this superpower to be able to help lift me up a little to get the rope off or what and to throw me onto the bed, which was right across, you know, it was right there. But she threw me onto the bed and you know, that's when I'm really bad and I start bawling about what I was about to do, seeing her cry. Like, she started bawling because she, the way she saw me, it started making me upset to see the way I saw her crying. And we sat there and we talked and we talked. And I knew that the pills were a big reason besides some other factors. And that, like I told you in the last video, that's why I stopped my addiction to the pills. But I want to let you guys know, there are better times ahead of you. I know it feels miserable right now. It's horrible. Like, I know that feeling of knowing you have convinced yourself life will not get better. But it will. There's different factors you gotta change in your life. Your friends, your environment, your work. There's many different things. Fine somebody to talk to who will help. That is the best thing you can do is somebody who can truly help you. Sometimes it may not be a therapist. Sometimes it may be just a normal friend who says the right thing or sometimes it could be a random person. Like, I would love to be able to help you out in this video even not knowing you. You watching my video and it helps you will be amazing. And I hope this does help you. I hope this makes you think maybe there is something because he felt it. The time ahead of you will get better. I promise. There's just hard times in front of you. There's always gonna be hard times in our lives, but we gotta conquer it. We gotta get past it. It's like the stock market. You see it go up, down, up, down, up, down. And a lot of us are that way. And we've gotta get past it. We've gotta deal with it. I know this video is running long, but I just wanna get to the hearts of you who I'm talking to who are going through this because it's one of the worst things in the world. So many people, so many people know, they can see physical injuries. Oh, that person broke his arm. They must not be that good, but they can't see in the mind. So if somebody just had a meltdown, about to kill themselves, and then they go into work the next day, a lot of people aren't gonna see that or know it because it's mental. And a lot of people who do know it may or will not care because it's mental. Oh, it's not an arm in a sling, so he's just fine. So now I'm talking to those of you who thinks it's not a physical injury, so it's no big deal. It can be worse than a physical injury in certain aspects. So treat it like a physical injury. You can't tell a deaf person to start hearing. Oh, snap out of it, start hearing. So why are you gonna be telling Somebody who's suicidal, oh, stop thinking about those thoughts. Start getting better. How are you just gonna tell them, oh, just get better? Just like that, get better. No, no. Anyways, I promise you guys, it will get better. Talk to me if you need to. Find somebody you know that will help you get through it. I know those thoughts of it won't get better, it won't get better, it won't get better. This is the best it's gonna get and it's horrible. I know what it's like telling yourself that, but I promise you, it will get better. There may be some things you have to change, but it will get better. I hope that this video got to some of you and I hope it helped a lot of you. In my next video, I'm gonna talk about dealing with anxiety and depression, so it kind of leads into these other videos. But I'll be talking about anxiety and depression and how it affect my life, how it affect my last job that I had to quit because of it. I'll give you the whole scoop and I know there's probably a lot of you out there who do have 
anxiety or depression or both. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that this helps you or somebody you know. Please share if you feel like this will help somebody because it's tough when you're in that mental low. It, it Life is so tough and so many people will not understand how much more tough life is. If you can get past it, you'll be one of the toughest people mentally in this world. So thank you for watching guys. I hope this helped you out and stay tuned for another video like this. That's gonna be it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.